Hey, so welcome to the series of tutorials on heredity and this is part 5. So today we would be talking about something which is quite interesting and we call that as sex determination. Sex determination is something that makes each one of us curious. When I say curious, this is why I say this. The moment a female gets pregnant, the first question that pops in our mind is, is it going to be a baby girl or is it going to be a baby boy? Anyways, so a baby girl or a baby boy. Oh boy, these kids are weird. Anyways, let's just concentrate on the topic. So when you talk about sex determination, you talk about if it is going to be a baby boy or if it is going to be a baby girl. So we will not get into the discussions of third sex or anything else. So to understand this in a better way, let's just get some basic information here. So to get this basic information, we need to get a couple here. So, hey, I said a couple, not grandpa and the grandma. Let's just send them away for a while and get a nice couple. They're pretty nice, but uh, the thing is, they're way too formal. Let's just get a nice romantic couple because we have to make babies here. Okay, this is a nice picture. Oh, look at them. They're too much into each other, huh? Anyways, let's just not get carried away. So when you talk about these people, a boy and a girl, their job is to produce their gametes. So when I say gametes, I talk in terms of male and female gametes. So as you can see here, this is a female gamete, so we call it as an XL. This is a male gamete and we call it as a sperm cell. Now in order to produce these gametes, there is a special type of cell division which happens in our body. And that cell division is meiosis or meiosis so when we say this cell division its job is to produce our gametes so in the case of females it will happen in the ovary in the case of men it is going to happen in testis or we call them as our gonads so the moment these gametes they come into existence we call them as haploid in nature. Now, when I say haploid, haploid means carrying half the genetic information. So this is represented by a symbol N here. N is equals to 23. So normal human being would have 23 pair of chromosomes. So in gametes, we have only half the information. So this egg is carrying 23 single, or 23 chromosomes and the sperm is also carrying 23 chromosomes so when they both fuse with each other we call that event as fertilization so the moment fertilization happens uh, the diploid zygote comes into existence so you see here I have written as, here it as 2n46 or you can also write it as 23 pair of chromosomes, a normal individual. So this zygote, it then undergoes mitosis and a new diploid individual is developed or a new individual having diploid cells is developed. Why? Because when you talk about mitosis, you talk about equational division. So one parent cell divides into two daughter cells and before it divides, it will copy its DNA and will pass that on incomplete and correct amount to the next generation. So this cycle keeps on happening and this is the basis to understand this topic. Now, before we get into the details of this topic, uh, the question is how exactly the sex is determined. So don't worry, 
you don't have to do this in order to determine the sex because doctors anyways they do this thing the moment the baby is born so to understand this in a better way let's just take a look at the genotypes of a male and a female genotype means the genetic composition or the genetic makeup well so this is how they look like and we call this as a karyotype actually this is how human chromosomes they look like when you map them for some scientific studies so if you take a look here so i say here now what i say here is that first 22 pair of chromosomes are called autosomes so let's just start from here so all this along with this along with this until here the 22nd pair these are known as autosomes similarly in a female when you talk about so this 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 until here this these are autosomes first 22 pair of chromosomes the job of autosomes is to is to do what the job of autosomes is to decide your body decide your characteristics decide your phenotype everything the last pair of chromosomes which is the 23rd pair of chromosome this is the one which is actually called as sex chromosome pair so you see here in the case of men it is x and y in the case of females it is x and x so men they don't have one x instead they have a y so x and y in the females it is x and x so if you write the genotype of a male you can say 22 pair of autosomes plus x y 23rd pair in the case of female it will be similarly 22 pair of autosomes plus x x this is the 23rd pair of chromosome that we have now let's just take this thing further so that we actually get to know then how exactly the sex of a child is determined now we know that gametes are produced in our body so a female is supposed to produce one egg every month and men they are supposed to produce millions of sperm cells every single day well this is just to increase the chances of fertilization so one egg is bombarded literally bombarded with lots and lots of sperm cells however there is just one cell that gets the chance to fertilize the egg and rest all they have to decompose inside the body of the female or rather digested by the body of the female so now we talk about sex determination cross so to understand this let's just get the genotype of a male and genotype of a female so when you talk about genotype of a male as i wrote it in the earlier slide 22 pair of autosomes plus x y 22 pair of autosomes plus x x in the case of a female so when you write the gametes 23 pairs need to split and each gamete cell needs to have 23 chromosomes so we can write it as for our convenience 22 plus x half of the sperm cells are going to be like this another half are going to be like 22 plus y so 22 plus 1 this y is 23 so in the case of a female an egg is always in this condition 22 plus x so when you talk about the cross now so let's just oh it's a purple nice pink color so let's just give it a female and this is a male thing so 22 plus x 22 plus x 22 
plus y twenty-two plus x. So here we get twenty-two ka pair, twenty-two plus twenty-two, twenty-two pair plus x y twenty-two pair plus x y twenty-two plus x x sorry here it is going to be x my bad 22 plus x y and 22 plus x x so a baby boy a baby boy a baby girl and a baby girl so in any given event of fertilization the probability of getting a baby boy is equal to the probability of getting a baby girl so the ratio is 1 is to 1 so this is how we go about it and this is how you are supposed to write it in your paper so thank you for watching this tutorial and if you have any questions you can write it in the comments and i shall get back to you thank you very much